Hey everyone, this is Jason with Share It Solutions, and today we're going to talk about reticle subtensions. Uh, in this scope series, we've been using the Vortex Crossfire 2 scope here, the 2 to 7 magnification by 32. Um, in the last video, we talked about the difference between first and second focal plane, this being a second focal plane scope. And what and so basically that means the subtensions are only accurate at full magnification. So again, this is the the Vplex reticle. You can see there. And this is a printout of that reticle. So you can see here these should be available from your scope manufacturer. This is the Vtex, or excuse me, the V. Plex, Vplex reticle subtensions for the Crossfire 2 2 to 7 by 32. So you can see here it gives a blown up image of the reticle and it gives dimensions. And at the bottom it says subtensions are measured in MOA and correspond to the highest magnification. So if you go back a couple videos we talked about MOA and, and what that means. But basically at the full seven power magnification, you can use the the scope to to look at these dimensions, right? So the small part of the crosshair is 0.17 MOA. The larger bars are 0.57 MOA. So uh, again, like the the large bars here, at a hundred yards, these bars would cover basically 0.57 inches, or or a little over half an inch. Um, and then you can see here this dimension from the inside edge of this line to this point is 2.85 MOA. So again, these are the reticle subtensions for the Crossfire 2 with the Vplex reticle. And these values are only good because of the, the fact that it's a second focal plane scope. These are only good at the full 7 power magnification. If you found this he helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel, and check out the rest of the videos in the scope series. Thank you.